Hi friends, I'm so glad you're back today. Today we're talking about something very important and that is how God gives us joy even when we're going through hard times. I'll talk more about this after the Bible story. So I'll see you in a minute. I'm Luca, and today was supposed to be the best day ever, until it rained. See, I was supposed to go to a car race with my uncle. We were gonna sit right at the starting line. We were going to be so close, I could see the race car drivers while they were racing. It was gonna be so awesome but it's canceled because of the rain. Who? Who? It's Ollie! 
Hello, Luca. Ho, ho. Feeling a little blue, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I was supposed to go to a car race with my uncle, but now we can't go because of the rain. Missing out is hard. It's true. But you can still choose joy, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Do you like to sing? Stormy does. <laughs> and that reminds me of our story today. Do you want to hear it? If you are ready to hear a story, shout hooray! Hooray! <laughs> our true story from the Bible is about two friends of Jesus named Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas loved Jesus, and they told people everywhere that Jesus wanted to be their friend forever. One day, people got upset with Paul and Silas and put them in jail. Jail is not a fun place. But wait, what are Paul and Silas doing? Yes, they're singing. They're singing and praising Jesus with joy. Paul and Silas knew that even though they were in jail, Jesus still loved them and was their friend forever. Jesus helped them choose joy. Wow, guess what happened later that night? While Paul and Silas were singing, the ground began to shake. It was an earthquake, and the doors to the jail flew wide open. But Paul and Silas didn't leave. They stayed to tell the guard that Jesus loves him and wants to be his friend forever. And then the guard had joy too. Jesus is so awesome. He helps us choose joy no matter where we are. When we are at the playground, at the doctor, at school or the store, Jesus can help us choose joy. Whether it's a sunny day, a rainy day, a windy day, or a snowy day, Jesus can help us choose joy. This story makes me want to follow Jesus here, there, and everywhere. I have joy because Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Can you do that with me? Let's follow our friend Jesus here, there, and everywhere. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus helped Paul and Silas choose joy. And he can help us choose joy, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Paul and Silas could have been grumpy or sad, but instead they sang, and Jesus helped them have joy. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I'm bummed about missing the race, but Jesus can help me choose joy. I know. Let's build a car track so I can invite all my friends over so we can have a car race right here in the clubhouse. See you next time. Walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us. Ephesians 5, 2. Walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us. Ephesians 5, 2.
helps us find joy or choose joy. Sometimes we go through really hard situations, but one thing I always like to remember is how we glorify and praise and celebrate and find joy in the Lord whenever we're going through something good. And remember to take those same emotions and carry them with us when we go through something bad. We can still celebrate God. We can still choose joy. We can still find happiness, even when we might be stuck in the middle of something bad. So even though we might not go through what Paul and Silas have gone through, God and his Holy Spirit will still continue to help us choose joy. Let's go ahead and pray to God now that we can just have him even when things are really hard. Dear God, thank you for giving us Jesus to help us choose joy, no matter where we are. This story about Paul and Silas, it shows us that we can find joy anywhere and in any circumstance because you are with us. Some of us right now may be going through a hard time and we might not come out or we just came out of a hard season and we're not sure what's ahead. Just help us remember to turn to you when things are dark or confusing, because even in those times, you can help us find joy. We love you and we pray these things in your name. Amen. All right, friends, until next week.